Here I'm using that thin wedge to score a line across the diameter of the log, right through the pith, the very center of it. And this essentially creates a fault that I'll then drive the wedges into to begin to open up the log. And now I've got the two wedges started in that uh, scored line. I tend to put these right out near the outer part, not right in the sapwood, but near it, and drive them in tandem. And you can maybe even see the water beginning to come out where the wedge goes in. Uh, it doesn't look like it, but this log is five feet long. split off the juvenile wood here and maybe you can pick up that there's a knot right here another one just six inches away from it and a third up there and one at the end so I'll drive a wedge in the end and try to break this down to about here You see what I've done and this could very well just be trash. Uh, might get some narrow thin stuff out of it but I expect it will run up here. Let's find out. So I slide it over into the narrower bit of the rails of the brake and I'm pushing down on the Thin part As I sight down the length of this piece of wood, I can see that corner is high in relation to this one. So I can correct some of that now with the hatchet. I have plenty of thickness here. So I just want to take that corner down. Notice those cuts are not coming straight across the um, piece. And now my hatchet is more laying right on that surface and I'm working with that top corner of it and slicing into that stuff. Like that. 